cut it off because I, I didn't want to listen to that anymore. But uh, hey, <laughs> wow, listen, wow, bro. Wow. I haven't cast with you in a long time, man. Yeah, I, actually, uh, yeah, it's been I, it's been probably uh, a year. Five hundred and twenty-two <laughs> days. Well, let's jump right into. Uh, I, I keep it marked on my calendar. Pokemon <laughs> Stadium Two. We got Nick C. Important. <laughs> uh, dude, always Nick C. Fighting off against Sinji. Now, okay, Sinji wow. was the person, the Pac-Man extraordinaire, that won Xeno last week. Mm -hmm. And neither of them have fought against this other character in this new game yet. Nixie was mentioning that he's never fought against Pac-Man yet, and Sinji's never fought against Falcon yet. So this is a brand new, like, experience. Yeah, no, but, and, but, you know, Fal Falcon being, Falcon is still Falcon, just faster. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, with, with a slightly different uh, hitboxes, and Pac-Man is still Pac-Man, just with, you know, better grab and more combos. Now, what's interesting is that Nick talked about it. He's like, you know what? I'm just going to treat this like it's Smash 4 Pac-Man and go from there. <laughs> so yeah, we'll, I mean, we'll see if that actually you know holds true. Because right now, it's kind of looking like their sets in Smash 4. Oh, not going to lie. Oh. He got the Z-drop and mixed up the up smash. Okay, now, one thing I want to I want to point out about, about the Hydrant, I'm not actually sure. Uh, does it work for a hitbox extension? I saw Nick Raptor boost earlier in this match, and it actually did connect, even though Sinji wasn't. <laughs> does it? Does it like hold the knockback from the move too? Because dog, listen. Uh, all I'm saying, wow. all I'm saying is that when you're fighting against Pac-Man, the matchup kind of revolves around the fire hydrant. Yeah, you'll, yeah, you'll no, notice that a lot of the gameplay is just kind of like wondering who has you must control the hydrant. The fire hydrant, which is crazy because that's Pac-Man's item, but the opponent can use it just as well against him, especially mm -hmm. in the bells as well. You see, Nick C has full control of that bell, trying to go off super deep for that uh, neutral air kill. All right, getting that down tilt, and I like it. Doesn't actually go for the check chase. Just expects him to actually. <laughs> I was muted for that, don't worry. But now I'm not. All right. Oh, and we tech those. Oh, but unfortunately, Nick Z, X, C, S, D, and. Yeah, got that unfortunate Raptor boost going off off stage. You see him trying to play around that trampoline. Waits for him to just go for it, a simple jab. That jab just looks so much more painful in this game. <laughs> It looks pretty violent, honestly. <laughs> it is. You're like, <laughs> oh, he's looking for that downer. I was hoping he was gonna recover a little bit sooner. It's Nick C. Does he ever not look for the downer? No, never. And the thing about Nick C. When he goes off stage, that he knows exactly how far he can go with Falcon's up B being able to reach the stage back. And that's very, very important to know as it, like, as you know, um, deal, you know, playing a character that doesn't really have that good of a recovery. Seeing a lot of jab combos, just keep pushing Sinji off stage. Nixie has full control of home base here. Again, Sinji trying to find his way open. Thought the Falcon Kick was going to be able to go through or knock the Hydrant apart. But, uh, oh, oh catches him jumping. Great anti air tool. Unfortunately, Sinji was a little bit slow to the draw. I don't think Inky would have reached, anyways. A little bit too high in the air. Okay, again, this entire, like, stock has taken place on this left side. Finally catches him jumping. Not yet, though. <laughs> yeah, at this point, Sinji's gonna have to recover with side B. Yes, sir. And does not want to commit. hitbox. Nice. That good. was a really good trap. I mean, that was really good patience from Nixie. He recognized that like Sinji was just gonna go for the roll onto the ledge. He actually probably ended up just reacting to it. Got the grab, back throw, but a bing, but a boom. Mm -hmm. yeah, now, I, I know, you know, Sinji is used to just like kind of like making players play his game, but with the high velocity and just like constant pressure of Falcon, you know, Sinji's, Sinji has to play Falcon's game and he's not enjoying it at the moment. There he goes. I mean, the thing is Sinji's literally one bell connection away from tending this stock. Yeah, but you know. Nixie's like not even getting, let him get prepared for it. So yeah, he's gonna go exactly. off and throw a cherry in orange, like one of the very first items. Because pa what Pac-Man wants to do is Pac-Man wants to get away from Falcon, get enough like, he actually, what? I think you can do that in this game. You can grab through the Hydra. What? I think you could honestly do that in Smash 4. Oh my oh, heavens! My. I mean, you, the, Sinji, I'm pretty sure he re the ledge, didn't he? Um, well, we're going we to find out. We're going to find out. You know, just crank that volume every single time. It wins. I like it. Okay, here we go. No, he just hung out too long. Yeah, right. Sinji was just hanging for a little little too long there. Kind of, maybe he was just trying to think of what to do. Maybe he was thinking about, like, I don't know. He, he, hung, he hung way too long, and they gave Nixie an ample amount of time. To go for the down air, so Nixie's gonna take away game number one from Sinji and winner's sim semis. Now he did, he did, you know, he did tell you at, at first uh, that he was gonna take it like he's gonna treat it like it was Smash Four Pac Man. Yeah, and you know, take it from there. Now the thing is that there, are, uh, there are certain set of characters that weren't really changed too much. You know, Fox being one of them, Falcon being another one, and, and you know, Pac Man. So it's like, 
you still kind of know the matchup in this case. There are a few things different here and there, of course, because of the new game engine, but it's still something to, 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 to note. And with this high rushdown uh, play style that Nixie has, Sinji's just not being able to deal with this one. He can't get, he can't set up. I've never even seen Sinji be able to charge the key because of the fact that Nixie's always in his face. Yeah, like, I mean, that's pretty much just his entire game plan, like you said. Um, let's see. The thing is, like, Sinji sometimes does, doesn't even want the key because it's, like, one of the most obvious projectiles. He's like, oh, here it comes straight on. It may be fast and has a lot of knockback, but, like, yeah, Sinji yeah. likes playing more tricky. He likes going for, like, the bell KOs or, like, mixing them up with the other kind of items. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not sure. I, I don't know too much about Pac-Man in this game compared to like the Smash 4, but I'm pretty sure you can throw the key against the wall and grab it so it gives you access to a Z-Drop. I really haven't seen Sinji go for that just yet. I'll have to ask him about that later. Still a brand new game. Here we go. Kalos Pokemon League. Got the counter picks. Got, I think, a Cynthia song? Got that music counter pick on deck. Yeah, no, Sinji definitely. Sinji, Sinji counter picks. And what's crazy about Nixie's aggression is that he's also playing like from like a safe distance, you know? Like if he, the second he recognizes that he's hitting Sinji's shield, he tends to back off a bit. Just, just, just ever so slightly just to make Sinji feel like he's always being pressured. Oh, he accidentally landed on that trampoline, left himself wide open for that up air. Good. Now, when, when you like, when you're reacting to the Hydrant, right? With uh, the game centering around it, it has a certain amount of health, and it's all about like who hits who hits the hydrant first, so that the second person can finish it off. That's yeah, exactly what yeah, Sinji's doing. Sure. He's waiting for Nixie to hit the hydrant first. And knowing that Nixie is aggressive as he is, he, he's definitely he, you know, it looks like it's working because you know Sinji is uh, he's getting he's getting to play his game a bit more now, you know. And as I say that, Nick C is just not. Oh. oh, he had the right idea. If he was just a little higher, that downer could have connected. Okay, good use of the wall jump. This is actually why Sinji probably counterpicked to Kalos Pokemon League. Not only for like the platforms, but it gives him a wall off stage to be able to wall jump to you know mix up his recovery. So he's not just going for like the uh, very predictable up B trampoline. And Nick C actually angling that up B so he can actually try and you know hit Sinji, but. Actually missing, so he definitely... Oh, wow. Back Yee! throw. Get out of here. Pac-Man has a grab again. Taking away that first stock from Nick. Nick trying to just play around that shield. I think he wanted to do a turnaround grab, but turnarounds just feel a little bit more difficult in this game compared to Smash uh, 4. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you know, you obviously have the fact that you can't go through them. If they spot stats, you can. So, that, like, if you read it... Yeah, but just do, like, um, a simple turnaround sometimes. Yeah. It can be troubling. Here we go. Doing the neutral air out of shield. Was trying to bait out the recovery. Got his baits. Hook, line, and sinker. Try to get the okay. up air. Nice. I like how Nixie actually just uh, landed immediately on that platform just to get the just get another jump just in case. Ooh, every single time that Nick is jumping, Sinji has a back air awaiting him. Oh, he's going super deep for that. Forcing him to go for a side B recovery. Managed to get there at the very end of it. Mm -hmm. I think he used the fire hydrant's water attack to push him that far. Huh. Uh, it, it looked like he did. I, I could be wrong. SIB goes pretty far. Flying shield pressure forces the spot wow, down. Wow. He just called that out. He knew he was going to jump again. I like the Z drop from Nixie. Okay. Sinji with the wall of bears at this moment. Just spikes him into the ceiling. I mean, might uh, as well. He, he saw him throwing the bell, so he was wide open. I mean, okay. <laughs> and now, something right there that Nick was trying to do, I don't think he thought the bell was going to wear off that soon. But the more, if you hold on to that item, Pac-Man loses like a, a, a critical tool of his kit. He is no longer is able to use bonus fruit, as long as you hold on to one of them. So, it could ther theoretically be a strategy. Oh yeah, for sure. For the opponent to like play around it. He catches the roll. Mel in the slow moving projectile can definitely slow down the pace. Oh, just he swung that bell. through it. He does not care enough, and you need to be careful with Nick C when he's when he's like you know he has you on le on this ledge because uh, what, what, we what? say we say jumps out here, boys. Okay, oh, catches him off stage. The reason is so, the game's never over when you get when you're playing against Nick C. Like percent percent matches percent deficit doesn't matter because of how risky his play style is. There he goes. The he back took air. the trade. <laughs> All right, and we are back to square one. Honestly, I think that's a fair trade for Nick because he was at 185. Yeah, no, no, for sure, for sure. He literally started the he he started the stock with you know being at 100 something with Sinji. You know, he had to make all that up. And with Nick not knowing the Pac-Man matchup in Ultimate as much, maybe it was just like, I wonder if this will work, type of deal. <laughs> so well, now he now is. he knows. Oh, great tech coming out from Sinji. Uh, yeah. 
Ooh, back wow, that, that back almost air. killed. What was that sus DI? All right, Sinji's getting back on stage, 108%. Nixie one stock away from moving on to winner's finals. Can't. Dash attacks through the catch, the apple. Oh, I thought Force the air dodge, big, big punish. There it is. No, no tech away coming from Sinji. That was a great gameplay from Nick because he threw the apple, forcing the Let's just get the instant replay. Uh, right here, he throws the apple, forcing the air dodge, so he has to recover super low because there's a lot of lag afterwards. And then, so it gives him the damn. free spike afterwards. That was all completely... <laughs> <laughs> Completely planned. <laughs> Bro, okay, we get it! <laughs> He's the hero of justice. Captain Falcon. So we go from uh, Captain Falcon...